Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate Agent APOC and Double R and so many others who have been submitting and sharing this uh, part of an announcement recently, which I am surprised wasn't covered uh, or at least touched on in detail. Maybe it was hinted at uh, in the latest update for the live stream last Friday regarding the future of the contest. Now, I think it's going to be kind of an awkward video and then I just I show this while talking. So maybe this feels more like a podcast. Maybe sometimes that's better. So in this, first off, it says this dynamic meant that we had to change something about our plans for seven stars. We didn't want to dilute the seven star pool with lower quality champions, which, by the way, Kabam recognizing that there are lower quality champions is indeed uh, contradictory to so many of their forum posts that stated that every champion has great value. <laughs> It's almost like they know that Hercules is amazing and so many other people are uh, never going to be played. Which I also want to say, I am not taking that as a full criticism. I think part of what makes this game so fun is there are duds and there are jackpots. Uh, as frustrating as it is to open like your third straight Groot in a row, and they're literally making Groot into a meme <laughs> before they ever open the first seven star, uh, I think that's, that's kind of nice. If everybody was just equal... And there wasn't like a good and the bad, and there weren't tears. I think this game would have been dead. I do because there wouldn't be as much incentive to spend six hundred dollars on July Fourth or Cyber Weekend or the spring cleaning event happening soon, uh, or uh, there wouldn't be as much excitement to open crystals in general. So I don't want people to hear that and think that I want that system to go away because I think that's part of why we play the game. It's just the nature of the Marvel Casino of Champions. Uh, so we don't want to reduce the number of seven star shards players could earn through content and we didn't want to uh, have to ration six star shards and content such as the upcoming Paragon difficulty side quest more info on this soon. So um, sometimes I make a video about something and then we get that information right after. <laughs> so maybe that'll be the case. Maybe I'll be recording this and then all of a sudden we'll have more details I didn't have in here and this will be in a way outdated. Um, there is no question that Kabam knows that there are two worlds now, Paragons and everybody else. Previously, it was like Thronebreakers and Paragons and everybody else, or at the minimum, like with special login calendars, Cavalier players and everybody else. There was this real sense of urgency in the Friday live stream where Kabam looked straight into the camera and said, you need to push to become Paragon right now. Obviously, that also includes the expectation and hope of forming enough seven star shards for at least your initial because the first two cost 10,000 shards instead of 15,000 although I'm still going to continue to refer to them as 15,000 priced crystals because after the initial first two they will always be 15,000 unless otherwise noted and of course the price has never changed from six star featured or six star basic unless you count a small price reduction for the six star featured and five star featured in the black iso store which of course also takes money to have access to that. So I, I'm i worried about the Paragon versus everybody else split because I'm also worried that this is going to really make it harder for people more than ever to join the game and to grow an opening account to the point that they feel like they're included. This already feels like there's 25 things to do in the game. Like I look at the game interface all the time and say seriously to myself, if I downloaded the game today, I would feel like I'm downloading like an advanced version of calculus and I would delete the app because I would be overwhelmed. There's too much to learn and I just want to fight with some champions I recognize and do some big yellow number of damage. Um, I was overwhelmed seven years ago when there was just Alliance Quest, Alliance War, which was not seasons yet, and then like masteries and event quests. Side quests really weren't a thing. The Glory Store didn't exist. Battlegrounds didn't exist. Incursions didn't exist. The arena was in its infancy and I still felt overwhelmed. Now there's like four times it feels like as much stuff or more. So with that being said, you hear about this Paragon that everybody talks about with the best rewards we start out and you realize, oh, I'm like two or three years away from that. Screw that. Hope I'm wrong. But this is my fear that there's just too much of a us versus them mentality. And it's always existed to a certain extent in the game, but it really exists now. 
So hope I'm wrong, but we will have a Paragon difficulty coming up in the side quest, which we don't know that much about at the time of recording this, but maybe we will soon. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.